Welcome. In this video, I want to go over some web benchmarks I've run on this dual boot computer. So what I have here is a 2016 Intel NUC. It has a Core i5 processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a Samsung SSD. So this is set up for dual boot, so it has Windows 10 on it, and Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. So what I wanted to do was find out where the fastest browser was. Was it on Windows? Was it on Linux? And which browser is it? So I ran a number of different browser benchmarks. I ran Web Expert. I ran Jetstream 2. Motion Mark and Speedometer. And I ran this on Ubuntu and Windows 10, and I ran it on Google Chrome, Firefox, and Microsoft Edge. So I didn't have perfect testing conditions. These are relatively clean systems, so it shouldn't have been doing a lot of stuff in the background. I made sure that the updates were run on it ahead of time. I used the latest version of the browsers on both systems. I set the screen to 1080p resolution, and these are the results I came up with. So the top three rows here are Ubuntu, and the bottom are Windows 10, and then I have Chrome, Edge, Firefox in that order. And you can see the scores here, and for these scores, higher is better. Let me see if I can make this a little bigger. So I got some interesting results here. So Chrome and Edge are both based on the Chromium engine, so they kind of have a similar back end, so you would expect to have similar results out of those two browsers, although they're obviously not exactly the same. For the Web Expert benchmark, the highest score was Windows 10 Firefox with 128, and the next highest was Ubuntu Firefox at 114. And then after that, we have Ubuntu Chrome and Edge had 111, Windows Chrome had 107, and Edge had 100. So if I just ran this benchmark, it would seem like Firefox is the winner and it's the best browser overall. But as we'll look at these other benchmarks, that's not the case. So next we have Jetstream 2, and the fastest on here was Windows 10 Chrome, and the slowest was Ubuntu Firefox. So on this, the Firefox got low scores, they got around 40, and then Chrome and Edge got around 60 on these, a little bit higher than 60. So on this benchmark, Firefox did not fare well, but the fastest was Windows 10 Chrome. So now if we look at Motion Mark, the fastest here was Windows 10 Chrome at 154.11, and our slowest was Ubuntu Firefox at 88.6. So you can see Ubuntu Edge got similar scores here. We have 125 on Ubuntu and 121 on Edge. The Chrome version on Windows did quite a bit better than the Chrome version on Ubuntu, and the Firefox version on Windows did quite a bit better than the Firefox version on Ubuntu. And the final is Speedometer, and Speedometer is probably the least sophisticated, I'm guessing. I don't know everything about these benchmarks, but it seems like the least sophisticated of these benchmarks. On here, the fastest we got was Windows 10 Chrome. The slowest we got was Ubuntu Firefox. So you can kind of see a pattern here that Windows 10 Chrome seems to be the fastest browser and Ubuntu Firefox appears to be the slowest browser. And here Chrome and Edge did similar on Windows, and Chrome and Edge did similar to each other on Ubuntu. But there is a little bit of a range. You have the low end of Ubuntu Edge is 51, the high end is 59 on Windows 10 Chrome, and then Firefox are in the 40s. So if you have a dual boot computer, you want the fastest web performance based upon what we've learned here, then it looks like Windows 10 Chrome is probably your best option. Firefox did do better in that first benchmark, but on the other benchmarks that Windows 10 Chrome seems to be the best option. Now, these are just three browsers. These are popular browsers. I don't know. I don't know if Edge is super popular. I mean, it's probably popular, but Chrome is really taken over. And even Edge is a Chrome derivative, so, and there's other browsers out there. There's one called Brave that's pretty popular, I think. And I didn't test it, but it might have some optimizations that won't show up in a benchmark like this because it like blocks things, it blocks ads or whatever. I don't know. I, I haven't really played around with it much. So these benchmarks mostly look at the performance of the browser itself as far as like processing. So it does like JavaScript processing and stuff. So if you're using some sort of a web application, even an application like Facebook is a web application or YouTube. Those are, you know, have JavaScript on the back end. So they do a fair amount of processing. So while Windows 10 Chrome is the, I guess, quote unquote winner here, that doesn't mean the other browsers are bad. You know, Ubuntu Chrome has decent performance too. You know, it beat out this on the web expert test by a few, and it's, you know, three off here. It's off quite a bit here. This is 154 and 130 on the motion mark, but here it's only off by about four. So if you like Ubuntu or Windows better, you know, whichever system, you know, there's a web browser you can use and probably have pretty decent performance. Now, another thing to consider is people talk about like memory leaks and such with Chrome. So these are just benchmarks on a freshly booted system. If you were to run these for a longer amount of time, you may have different results later on. It may take up all your memory. You know, people talk about Chrome being a memory hog. So that could potentially favor Firefox. Or if you have less memory, I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, so I have plenty to work with. If you have less memory, a different browser may be more optimized. And I created a little chart here. So this is a chart I made. I think it's easier just to read it from the numbers itself. I don't know that it's 
this conveys the information any better, but there's a chart if you like charts. <laughs> so that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.